Hey guys, Heidi Easley here again for um, just a really quick thing with my sweet daughter, Pixie. She's going to be sharing three main tips for packing kits because Pixie, what have you been doing the past couple days? I've been making the kits, packing them, doing all of the kit stuff. <laughs> okay, so as you come on, go ahead and say hi to Pixie. Again, this is my daughter and she has been helping me with everything since what you were probably five years old when you started yes. running around paint parties and i used to bring hershey kisses to all the paint parties and she would run around and help put brushes down and then go grab a hershey kiss and then run around put a few brushes and i kept thinking if i just keep her going then i'll be able to to really have her be a part of this business so today you're a very big part of paint party headquarters texas art and soul so Go ahead. I just want to um, welcome you. Thank you for being here, Pixie. You're welcome. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> okay. So what's your three top tips for kits? So number one, have a list of everything you're putting in the kits, like your paint, what paint colors you're doing, um, just everything, like what type of brushes, everything like that. And then it's just good like that. And then <laughs> it can be different. That's my second tip. It can be different. If you have different colored plates in a few of the kits, it's okay. They don't all have to be the same because that's crazy. It's <laughs> not going to be perfect. <laughs> and then and my third it's tip. going to different houses too, right? So it's okay if yeah. it's like a, a purple plate here and a, a pink plate here. It doesn't matter. It's not that they're going to be comparing the plates to each other. <laughs> good, good tip. Tip. What's your tip number three? My tip number three is to be organized. So like how I have, I have to do, I put the paint things, the paint cups that I put the paint in. I put them in rows and lines of how many bags that I'm doing. And then I just go and I sort the color through all of them. And so you just have to be organized like that so that you can get it done quicker, faster, and more efficient. That was a big fancy word. Wow. You say bigger efficient. words than I do. Efficient. She's saying efficient. <laughs> My daughter is so smart. I'm so proud. Um, <laughs> and we are in the same house, but we wanted to do the interview where it looked like she was a, a guest. <laughs> Okay, so Pixie, um, can you show them what is in one of the kits that you're packing right now? Okay, so this is the kit that we're packing right now. I have a little stamp that I stamped on all the bags that I'm doing. And it's a pretty small bag, but it still works. You can do any type of bag. And then we have a cup for water. We have a paper towel. Oh. <laughs> we have a paper towel for, you know... We all need paper towels. And then I have the instructions that I folded up so it can fit in the bag. There's a handwritten card. Well, not yet, but there is a card in there that will have some cute stuff in it. And um, so Pixie's kind of cool because when she does her kits for me, um, she does get paid. How much are you getting paid per kit on these? Per kit, I get paid $5, and then because the um, amount of kits there are right now, I'm getting $150 for all, all yeah. the kits that I'm doing. And this is because we're doing, this kit is a 16 by 20. Do you want to show them the butterfly real quick? Um, it's a 16 so, by 20 for the butterfly. So they're paying $25 a kit. And so then I told her I would give her $5 of every kit that she puts together. So, okay, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. It's okay. And then we have our brushes. So there's only two in here, which is an okay amount. Like, it's okay. <laughs> and then we have, of course, all our paints inside of the bag. Do you know one of the biggest questions, and maybe you can answer this, um, one of the biggest questions we keep getting this week is how much paint do you put in a paint kit, like in a cup? So it depends on how much the color is being used. So like here's the orange, and then as you can see on here, the orange is kind of just in the middle area of it. And so I like to put a pretty big amount because it's a big canvas and this is a really small bottle compared to it. Mm -hmm. So I put about like that much. 
So half, so that's a, that's a one ounce cup y'all. And that's, um, I always say like whatever, like the quarter size that you use, I always say double it. And so when I was in there checking on her earlier, she was putting all the kits together. I went in there to check on her and she goes, mama, you did not tell me enough for this red. And so here she is squirting the red and she's putting way more than I had told yes. her. So always put more. And um, Natalie wants you to show her the paint cup again. The what? The paint cup. She's asking oh. if you show the paint cup again. And then this is um, a one ounce we get from Amazon. They're just like jello shot cups. Every, you know, any, you can put anything in them, but I always call them the jello shot cups. But yeah, we just put it, but it looks like it's filled all the way up, but it's really not. Well, that's just because they've been turned over and stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so everybody's saying hi to you, Pixie, Debbie, Chiquita's saying hi. Um, Robin says assembly line. Um, yes, it kind of is an assembly line. <laughs> it is. Um, Monica says, can we order kits if not a membership? Um, can we order kits, like order kits from us? Is that what you're saying? It depends on where you are and you'll have to pay shipping. So we don't, I don't know if we want to do see all this. Button does. Oh, oops. Oh, where'd you, what'd you do? I pushed a button. <laughs> I didn't know what it did. Cause I don't <laughs> understand how you're seeing all the comments and it's just nothing for me. Yeah. Don't push. I'll read you the, I'll read you the stuff. Um, so the lids, she's asking, Natalie's asking you if the lids stay on pretty well. Yes, they do. If I shake it around, like a few of them I accidentally dropped on the floor and they were totally fine. They were completely filled and the lids stayed on. So they're good. So what could they do if they were nervous that the paint would go out of those? What could they do? You could probably put it in a plastic bag so that if it like undoes, at least it has an extra protection layer so that it doesn't get on everything. Yes. And if you ship them, I, when I have shipped in the past, I put them in like a, a Ziploc bag for sure. Cause you don't want to do that. And um, a copy of the instructions. Okay. So let's see if Pixie knows the answer to this about paint party headquarters. So Julie, Julia says, do you have a copy of the instructions? Where would they find copies of instructions? Hmm. Paint party headquarters. Oh yeah, in paper <laughs> headquarters. Yeah, I was really scared about that. <laughs> yeah. So so yes, we have every tutorial that you get to use. And um, again, you can use for art kits as well as online. You have the instructions that you can just download and use. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, we have some more questions for you. Um, Angie says she puts a strip of washi tape over the top. That's a great idea. Very great idea. Um, and then let's see, Joe says, are your paints from the same small bottles you use in your videos? Are you buying large containers to fill these cups up? Do you want to answer that? Um, I just use the same stuff. I just go into the art room, grab the paint colors that I need, and then fill up the cups. Yeah, we just grab whatever we got. We're not picky. <laughs> just make sure it's the right colors, right? And um, let's see, um, where do you get the bags for the kits? Elizabeth, brand new member. Welcome, Elizabeth. Where do you get those bags? Um, I'm guessing you'll have to answer them, but I think like Walmart or something. It's you can really easy. Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. Those places. Hey, dollar store. Um, yeah. We've ordered those off of Amazon and they were honestly just some extra bags we had from some kits that we use from in-person parties. Um, but, and then we just took our stamp and stamped it on there. But we have had members in party headquarters who have literally taken lunch bags and drawn with Sharpie something fun. So um, Linda Williams wants to know, does Pixie trace the butterfly on the canvas? Do you want to show them? Yes, I do. So this is what it looks like after I've traced it and this is what I trace it with. So I have this little template thing and ow, that just hit me in the nose and some carbon <laughs> and some carbon paper, which you can trace on. And then it like goes off of here onto the surface that you're tracing it on. Show on the back of that carbon paper because we just literally tape four pieces of carbon paper together. But you can see how many times she's traced that because those pieces of carbon paper will last for so many tracers. 
So I know sometimes they seem like it's, you know, oh my gosh, I don't want to pay that for carbon paper, but you can reuse, reuse. Michael yes. has some great ones. Um, okay, awesome. So let's see. And um, yeah, so Linda Pixie does. So when Pixie gets paid to do art jobs around the house, um, she definitely earns money for it. So if she's putting together the kits and making part of the money, um, she definitely does the tracing. She puts the stuff together. And then I just kind of go around and double check it before we deliver it. Okay, so... Um, Natalie says, and Rhonda says, Heidi's mini me, so cute. <laughs> she is a cute one, isn't she? She's, she's a good one. She's about to have turquoise hair. Since she doesn't yeah. have to go to school, she's- It's um, not turquoise, it's blue. Like a Smurf? It doesn't look Smurf-like. Smurfs don't have blue hair. Their bodies are blue, not their hair. Oh, that's right. <laughs> their hair is normal colors. Their hair, I guess. I, I, yeah, I don't know my Smurf, my Smurf stuff. But she, is, so it show them your hair because on Monday it will be a different color. We're doing it in, intentionally now through summer when she's going to be in the pool a lot and you know swimming a lot. So then it goes out. So <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Are there some people who want to buy untraced canvases? Are they all pre-traced? And um, Natalie's asking that. Do you want me to answer that one, or do you have that? Um, you can answer it. I kind of wasn't listening. I was looking at the time. <laughs> yeah, we do need to wrap this up. We have another, <laughs> we have another interview coming up at six o'clock with more paint party headquarters sisters. Um, so, okay. So yeah, most people want to buy in this world anyway. I don't know about, you know, what's going on in the, uh, the fine art world, but, um, yes, pre-traced. We want, people want to grab it and be able to get their instructions and go for it. And then the 16 by 20, how much are we charging for the 16 by 20, Pixie? Do you remember? For me? No, your price is $5, but how much am I charging? I don't know. Oh, you don't I know? make the kits. <laughs> 25. $25. I knew that. So then the kids' kits, we usually charge $10, and they're like an 8 by 10. Um, and then Kelly Davis wants to know, Pix hey, Pixie, do you use a pen or special tool for tracing? Um, honestly, I use anything. As you can see here, I used pencil for a little bit, but then I kind of got confused on like where I was already going or like what I've already done. And so I would just trade off to a colored pen and then I could know, oh, I already did that piece, move on to this piece. And then I'd trade off again and do a different colored pen. So honestly, it doesn't really matter you could honestly just use like like a dull pencil or something it doesn't have to be a literal use thing yeah if it can't be any sense. yeah all it really has to have is pressure you could use your finger now and yeah and um, okay so we have to wrap up because we have more interviews at 6 p.m do you want to um tell anybody about this maybe tell somebody one of your like i know i'm putting you on the spot and we don't know how this is going to go but maybe tell people one of your favorite memories from all the paint parties we've done together. Okay, so from all the paint parties, I've met a lot of people that I really like. So I've met a lot of friends, but also usually whenever we go on to paint parties, we also add a little trip afterwards. So our Florida one, we actually went to the Harry Potter amusement park. And if you know me, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. And it, it was amazing. I, I loved it so much. That was such a fun trip. So we, we are all about making this a paint party adventure, traveling paint parties, you know, all of those things. So and me and Pixie, for what, four or five years now, we've done trips to Florida and back. And so, you know, you put a kid in a car with you and drive for 20 hours to South Florida. <laughs> You just got to bond. Somehow you're going to bond, right? And so we've had we've had so much fun doing those trips together. And uh, we were supposed to have one again the first week of June, the second week of June, but we're um, it, because of what's happening, we're having to put put it off a little bit. So ready to get back to doing our traveling road trip. So all right, any final thoughts before we go? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Everybody, am I supposed to say something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I love you, sweetie. Thank you for being on here. Love you. All, All right. right. I'll talk Bye. to you later. Bye, guys.